हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू क्रिएटिव मेडिसिन इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल लर्न अबाउट हेलो फ्रेंड्स लेटर्स नाउ लर्न सम इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स अबाउट द फिस्टुला इन एनो सो फिस्टुला इन एनो सो व्हाट इज फिस्टुला इन एनो Fistula in ano is between. There is there will be an abnormal communication. Will be present between the ano rectum and the perineal skin. Between the rectum or anal canal and the perineal skin, there will be an uh, abnormal communication will be present. So in this patient, there will be history of ano rectal abscess will be present, or there will be. anorectal sepsis there will be history of anorectal abscess or anorectal sepsis will be present and here in this fistula in ano this will form a tract outside which is known as fistula in ano this anorectal abscess will form a tract outside which is called as fistula in ano now this theory where the anorectal abscess forming the fistula in ano is called as anorectal abscess and cryptoglandular theory anorectal abscess cryptoglandular theory then if you see the components the components of anorectal ring are three one we have puborectalis this puborectalis is present like a sling around the anum uh, rectum puborectalis right so it is present as a sling around the rectum whereas we have pub internal anal sphincter the components of uh, anorectal ring are in the anorectal ring we have two components one we have puborectalis where it forms a sling around the rectum then we have internal anal sphincter this internal anal sphincter is mainly formed by the inner circular muscles and also this anorectal ring also consists of external anal sphincter this external anal sphincter is actually formed by outer longitudinal muscles it is formed by outer longitudinal muscles Now, if you see the types, types of fistula in ano. First, we have low lying type. Low lying type of fistula in ano. Here, the we call it has fist, low lying fistula in ano. If the internal opening of ano is below the of fistula, if the internal opening of fistula is below the ano rectal ring. If the internal opening of fistula is below the ano rectal ring, then we call it as low lying um, fistula in ano. And when do you call it as high lying? High lying is if is if internal opening is of fistula is above the ano rectal ring, then it is high lying fistula. Then what is simple fistula? Simple fistula is if there is single. straight tract if there is single straight tract then we call it as simple fistula then what is complex fistula in complex fistula if there is multiple branched tracts are present then we call it as multiple fistulas now what are the causes of anorectal fistula now if you see the causes of anorectal fistula are Number one, we have anorectal abscess is the most common cause of anorectal fistula. Then we have Crohn's disease. Then followed by lymphogranuloma venereum can cause anorectal fistula. This is an uh, STD. Then we have actinomycosis can cause anorectal fistula. Actinomycosis will also result in anorectal fistula. and foreign body in rectum will result in anorectal fistula and malignancy and hiv so these are the causes of anorectal 
sorry fistula in ano and fistula in ano then what about the clinical features clinical features are it is most common in males around third to fifth decade of life it is most common in males around third to fifth decade of life it is also seen in intermittent purulent discharge here the patient will have intermittent purulent discharge from the fistula and he will also suffer from pain and if the patient also can pass the feces or uh, the patient can ca pass feces or platelets from external opening so when the patient passes so when the patient passes feces or platelets from the external opening then we can surely say that the internal opening is present in the rectum if you were asked what is the key points for assessing the fistula what are the key points to be assessed in fistula what should you assess in fistula so the key points that should be assessed in fistula include first our location of external opening should be assessed location of external opening location of internal opening and then we should assess the course of the tract and then we should assess the secondary extensions present or not should be seen and you should also see if there are any complicating diseases if there are any complicating diseases or conditions which are associated with this that will affect the healing of fistula should be seen that effect healing of fistula should be noted then what about the investigations the in first investigation that is done in this is fistulogram then if you were asked what is the investigation of choice of anorectal fistula mri is investigation of choice for anorectal fistula then then if you see the parks classification after parks classification in the parks classification we have four types type 1 2 3 and 4 type 1 is intersphincteric intersphincteric fistula is most common type 2 is transphincteric fistula type 2 is transphincteric fistula then we have type 3 which is supraphincteric fistula and type 4 we have extraphincteric fistula so these are the four fistula which are present according to uh, parks classification so if you see on examination on direct rectal examination you can find an induration or hardened area is found around the internal opening around the internal opening you will see a induration so this internal opening can be localized by digital rectal examination and you can also do proctoscopy in proctoscopy you will find that the internal anal opening internal opening the internal opening of the fistula in proctoscopy internal opening of the first fistula can be localized if fistula is present within 10 cm if fistula is within 10 cm of anal verge then the opening can be noted on proctoscopy next the next important thing is about the in fistula is good sal sign we have a rule which is called has good sal rule is present this good sal rule is mainly to indicate the position of internal opening it is to indicate the position of internal opening on the basis of external opening this is to initiate the position the, the it is to indicate the position of internal opening on the basis of external opening so there are two main important uh, points based on woodsall's rule rule number 1 if the openings are if the external opening is seen anteriorly anteriorly located external openings these will be 
joined by short straight tract they are joined by short straight tract anteriorly open located external opening are joined by stra short straight tract whereas if you see posteriorly located posteriorly located external opening this is joined by long curved tract this is joined by long curved tract and this will open in the posterior midline this is joined by long tra curved tract and opens in the posterior midline position so if you see if this is the anus and if this is the posteriorly located tract these are the posteriorly located tract all these will join together by a long curved tract like this and they open in the midline okay this is posteriorly joined posteriorly located external opening any of the posteriorly located external opening these are joined by a curved tract which is long and it opens in the midline whereas the anteriorly located external opening are joined by short straight tracts so if it is present here short straight tract and they are opened like this okay so this is good cells rule now there is an exception to this good cells rule the exception is if the external opening if the external opening is more than 3 cm from anal verge if the external opening is more than 3 cm from anal verge this men this can have multiple external openings so these are two exceptions of good cells rule sometimes the external opening can be present more than 3 cm from anal verge or there can be multiple external openings right now if you see the treatment so in the treatment first you will do you can do fistulectomy for fistulotomy first we can do fistulotomy what is fistulotomy fistulotomy is you will put an incision over the fistula tract then next we can also do fistulectomy in fistulectomy you will see you will directly excise the fixed fistula tract the overall uh, fistula tract will be excised in fistulectomy in fistulotomy you will just put an incision over the fistula tract so that you will obliterate it both these are associated with high morbidity then there is one two more three more procedures which can be done we have seton procedure then we have waft what is waft waft is video assisted anal fistula treatment video assisted anal fistula treatment is waft then we have glue so first we will see what is seton what is seton seton is here this is actually a thread which is made up of silk or nylon or linen or sea elastic elastic and what are the types of seton if you see the types of seton they are of four types one we have cutting seton then we have non cutting seton we have cutting seton then we have non cutting seton then we have marking seton then we have staging seton marking seton and then we have staging seton so first what is we will see some important points about cutting seton so cutting seton is that it is nothing but a thread right so this cutting seton this is inserted over the fistula it is inserted over the fistula and it is tied and it is uh, tied and a knot is applied and you will apply a knot so it is just like a thread which is tied and knot is applied and every week what do you do is one after 
applying the knot every week you will the knot is made tight every week so that if it is made tight every week this knot will cut the tissues it will start cutting the tissues so that is the reason why we call it has cutting seton then what is the use of this cutting seton this cutting seton will convert the high lying fistula it will convert the high lying fistula to low lying fistula it will convert high lying fistula to low lying fistula now this high lying fistula treatment is always treatment of this high lying fistula is associated with high risk of fetal incontinence so this should be remembered if there is high lying fistula if you are treating it it is associated with fetal incontinence now what are the indications of seton if you see indications of seton these include treatment of complex anorectal fistula indications of seton are treatment of complex anorectal fistula then there is treatment of fistula in crohn's disease in hiv and hiv patients there can be treatment of fistula in crohn's disease and hiv patients and then we can also use one more fistula which is draining fistula draining seton we can use draining seton can be used draining seton is used to control the infections draining seton is used to control the infections has they have multiple infectious fistula yeah if there are infections then there will be multiple infectious fistula so we will have to put the draining fistula then so for treatment of fistula in crohn's disease and hiv patients you will have to put seton's then we can also put anterior fistulas if for anterior fistulas also we can put, we have to put seton this anterior fistulas are actually most common in females than in males then if the fistula is associated with chronic diarrheal diseases then we can use seton so these are the important um indications of seton thank you thank you and thank you for watching